was doing my Bible study with, with Sister Margaret in the novitiate, we were going through some gospel passages, and I was concentrating on that, but this huge, huge bumblebee came to the window, and it was winter, and I was thinking, what's a bee doing at this time of the year? Banging on the window really quite hard, and I was thinking, okay, focus on the gospels, don't look at the bumblebee, because whenever I see animals, I go a bit crazy, because I love them. <laughs> so I was like, look at the bumblebee, and Sister Margaret's going, will you pay attention? I'm like, okay. So this bee is knocking on the window, and I, all I'm trying to think of in my head, because I, I grew up with this, this love of the Native American Indian spirituality, was what does the bumblebee represent at, at this moment? Because I felt so strongly that there was this, there was this, I just had to pay attention to it, and what does it, what does it actually mean? And I was listening to what Sister Margaret was saying, but at the same time I really wanted to go to the computer straight away and Google the mythology of the bumblebee. <laughs> well, it was spot on. It was absolutely spot on, and I thought, you know, you might think I'm absolutely crap as saying that, like what the nerfed insects have to do with God. Well, he created them. And the Native American Indian culture have a meaning for each animal. The eagle, for example, is like the bird's eye view on things. And we all think about that. Step outside yourself, see a wider picture. The wolf is seen as a great, great leader, a loyal. You know, dogs, we look at our animals in the same way. So I thought there was something in that for me. And when I Googled the bumblebee, it was really quite funny. The bee is obviously a worker in a community, and I was in a community with the 24 other sisters. And it was about smelling the roses, savoring the sweetness of life. And I, at that time I was grieving the passing of my mum. So I was not really in a very good space. And so that it was almost like this message was saying, you know, it's actually, it's actually okay. Stop and smell the roses and take and take that message. And for me, growing up believing that's what I what I have. I obviously I don't look at every single bumblebee and feel that's absolutely meant for me because that would be crazy. But there are certain times where you can feel as you build up your relationship with the spirit that you are being directly spoken to by God and there's no nobody can shake you from that. You know, it's that very strong conviction. You know you're being spoken to, whether it's an animal, whether it's a person, whether it's a lorry, whether it's the television, it's the work of the Holy Spirit if you believe it is. And that comes from, from honing your honing your connection.